Siri, Derek, O'Brien. Five minutes. Medal or no medal, we salute you. You are our hero, Vinesh Poga. Thank you for what you've done today for India. Sir, now on the bill. First point, roll back 18% GST on insurance, health insurance, and life insurance. Yes. Yes. Sir, this is not winning. We win, they lose, no. This was a provision introduced in 2017. Our humble appeal to the finance minister through you, no one saw this maybe from 2017 to 2024. In the last two weeks, it's been brought up in Parliament. Chief Minister of Bengal has written a letter. Yesterday, there were 350, party, 350 MPs from 20 parties, Congress, DMK, SP, everybody. We all are together on this, sir. But it's not against us versus you. No. Like in sport, you can win-win. Here's a great chance to win-win, sir, because even if you don't listen to us, Madam Finance Minister, I noticed in the morning your colleague, senior cabinet colleague, both of you are very senior, was sitting next to you. He chose not to tell you on the phone or WhatsApp. He's written a letter to you. So please come back to us and take away this 15, uh, this 18% on medical, sir. Number two, again, my humble appeal to the Finance Minister. We all know. Dr. Mitra, who was co my colleague there, I've spent many hours with him. So we all know about the GST Council. Everyone needs to know the GST Council, one third of the weight is of the union government. NDA has 18 states in that council. You have a comfortable majority to do what you want in the GST Council. So don't use the GST Council as a curtain. Come, sir, not ego issue. 22nd or 23rd of August, you're having a meeting, I heard, saw in the media. Pull off this 18%, sir. This is not about ego. We will all win. And those suffering who are paying the 18% on life and health insurance will win. So that's the first point on the rollback in the GST. Second, sir, on federalism. Some of my friends here, they are not in the NDA, but they give you some nice support. Very good. We respect that. But some of us parties, we politically oppose you. And we defeat you in elections. With humility, we defeat you. So don't deprive us. We've been asking for only one thing. Give us a white paper from Bengal from 2021. Chalo, you lost the elections in 2021. We've been saying, present the white paper, present the white paper. What do we want to know? We're making a charge here today, sir, which we've made for the last four years. For Manrega, you have not paid Bengal even one rupee authenticated. Now you'll turn around and tell us 99.95% of all the paperwork has been done. 0.5 have not complied. But you're holding up people who've worked. First charge, 7,000 crores and 8,000 crores on Awas Yojana owed to Bengal. I say this again, we've asked for a white paper. But sir, I've been wondering, maybe there's some communication problem from our part, because our understanding of a white paper is to present a concise and specific report. My colleague who spoke in Lok Sabha, Abhishek Banerjee, also mentioned this. However, maybe, maybe, just maybe, our understanding of a white paper is a report. Is it possible that the government's understanding of a white paper to a state government where they don't have data is actually giving a white paper? Just a white paper. Finance Minister, come present that white paper. So my last point on this, I appeal to this government, Mr. Modi, the Finance Minister, to please understand this mandate. We have understood the mandate in our state. We have to come and work harder. Understand the mandate. The mandate says, show cooperation and humility. Take us all together so we will solve problems. Please understand the mandate with humility. 
then it won't be a problem at all for you to roll back the 18% on the medical and health insurance or look at the price rise, acknowledge the price rise, whether it's onion, milk, tomato, and gas cylinders, and find solutions, sir. Please. Thank you.